Video games. Everyone's favorite pastime. Everyone enjoys video games. Couples, women, children, families, and sometimes even elderly people. So why is it that every time something tragic happens, video games are always to blame? Well, today we're going to go to and discuss a little bit, and I might rant about the trouble with video games. What it is, what it does, what it do, YouTube, infamous Harrison here, and welcome to another controversial video. And today we're going to be talking about video games. Do they cause violence in people? Or is it just people who are just violent regardless of whether they're playing video games or not? Well, I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting sick and tired of social media, politicians, social justice warriors, gaming journalists, you know, pretty much all these people that have like negative things to say about video games, but yet very few have even played it or even done the research about video games or the violent behavior as a result of playing video games. They've been blaming video games on tragic events or just violent acts, period, for a very long time. If you go back sometime in the 90s, like during the Columbine High School incident, they claim that those two boys that did that horrific mass shooting at Columbine High School, um, that during their pastime, that they would play Doom. Now, if anyone has played Doom, they would know that in Doom, you kill ghouls and demons from hell. And there were like, absolutely like no people and not only that, the people that they did have on there were zombies. So they were technically like already dead. However, because they played video games, they automatically assumed that the reason why they had exhibited these violent acts or this violent behavior was because of prolonged exposure to violent video games but what social media doesn't tell you or you know the mainstream news doesn't tell you is that these boys were on prescription pills they were on antidepressants and if you noticed here lately or if you look this up or you could even see it on like certain commercials you know commercials for certain antidepressant drugs that antidepressants, that these prescription antidepressants, it causes irrational behavior, trouble sleeping, erratic behavior, suicidal thoughts, the list goes on and on. But see, the mainstream media doesn't tell you that. They want you to go and assume or go and believe that, oh no, it was the violent video games that caused this. Oh my goodness, these violent video games, they get, they need to be taken away. And it's like, no, it is not the violent video games. What the blame is or what the trouble is, it was that those kids, they were on prescription medicine that made them go, that made them act crazy. And when I say this, I'm not trying to poke fun at people that have mental health problems. All I'm saying is, is that do not, don't sit here and blame video games on people's mental health. Like their mental health and video games is like way, like two different things. Just because they may play violent video games during their pastime, that don't necessarily mean that that was like the trigger for it. Like what I said earlier, these antidepressants, if you look them up, they have some really wacky side effects and 
you know people need to look into that i mean and my thing too is this instead of over here giving these running to go and give these kids pills all the time why don't you try talking to these kids see what's going on they can have like a lot of different things going on like in their life they could be like bullied they could be over here getting like you know harassed or maybe they're getting sexually assaulted by another student or by a teacher or something you know that's the reason why they acting you know strange or they not being themselves you know and I know I'm going off a little on a little bit of a tangent here, but I'm saying it's like it sort of makes sense, but it's a little off topic. But like I said, like my point here is, is like, you know, there's other things going on. There might be some other things going on with them besides them going crazy and, you know, them going crazy off of uh, playing violent video games. But all right, y'all. Um, I'm gonna have to go and cut this a little short. So, in conclusion, my thing is this. Well, I'm gonna make a part two to this because this is like kind of long. This is like way longer than what I expected because there's a lot of things I want to go and touch on here. But what I'm trying to bring out here is this: violent video games did not cause these individuals that I mentioned earlier to go and kill everyone and don't believe they're like don't believe the hype all right because video games are very beneficial to everyone and you know it's a pastime and it's also a stress relief it's a stress relief to go and help people not going lash out and be violent so it's really like a more of an anti-violent thing more so than a thing more so than a product that causes violence but i don't know you all be the the judge i mean am i wrong for thinking this am i wrong for saying this do you agree or do you disagree um just let me know in the comment section below i'm gonna end the video here guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video um be sure to like share comment subscribe get addicted and like i said this is not the end of this video i just wanted to just kind of cut it short because there's some more things i want to say and you know i'm a little pressed for time so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I would like I cannot wait to go and get on part two of this so I can go a little bit deeper and give you a little bit more of my thoughts on this issue. And so with that being said, like I said, I hope y'all have a good day, good evening, whatever type of day it is. I hope it's good. Remember the fourth thing. Stay watching, stay gaming, thank Jesus. All shall be well. Stay classy, Shy Town. Stay classy, YouTube. I'm infamous Harrison. I'm out. Christ be with you.